10 Hair Care Tips Every Girl Should Know. Gorgeous, thick, and shiny hair is the heart's desire for pretty much every woman. And it doesn't matter whether you have naturally perfect hair or not. The most important thing is taking care of your hair so it can be soft, thick, and silky. Brightside put together an ultimate guide to hair care for you. Number 10, washing. First things first, let's start with the simplest thing, washing your hair. Before you go to the bathroom, brush through your hair so that it wouldn't be tangled when it will dry. Start washing your hair by applying shampoo to your palms first and only then to your wet hair. Gently massage shampoo into the roots, moving from your ears to the back of your head. This will help to keep your blood flowing to the follicles and provides hair growth. Then, rinse your hair with warm water. Wash your hair again if necessary. Don't forget to use a hair conditioner and rinse your hair with warm and then with cold water. After the washing, gently dry your hair with the warm towel, moving from the roots to the ends. Number 9. Blow Drying The next step is blow drying. Here, start with applying special products to your hair first. Then, separate your hair into several sections. Place the blow dryer six inches away from your scalp, moving from the roots to the ends for an additional volume. It's better to start with the back of your head and side sections. Slightly lift the section at the roots and blow dry it moving downwards. When you're done with it, move along to blow central drying sections of your hair. Don't go too crazy with your blow dryer. Use it no more than once or twice a week. Blow drying the hair every day may dry your hair out and break it. In the summer, let your hair rest from all the excessive heat. Number 8. Hair Types Now, let's have a little and fun test, shall we? We will ask you a couple of questions and give you some choices to find out what is your hair type. Let's start. Question number 1. How often do you wash your hair? A. Every 2-3 to three days B. Every day C. Once a week D. Every 2-4 to four days Question number two, how quickly do your hair roots become oily? A, after two days, B, in the evening, C, at the end of the week, D, after two to three days. Question number three, in what condition are your hair ends? A, normal, B, barely split, C, dry and brittle, D, dry and split. Question number four, what about your hair's volume? A, it's normal. B, it has volume only after washing. C, it has excessive volume. D, the ends may get frizzy. Question number five. How often does your hair get static electricity? A, sometimes. B, very rarely. C, often. D, only at the ends. Voila, we are done. Well, if you chose mostly A answers, then congratulations, your hair is normal. This is the rarest hair type and you're lucky because all you need to do is simply wash your hair and protect it from the sun and you won't face any hair issues. If you chose mostly B, answers, that means that your hair is oily. This is happening mostly because your scalp is oily as well. People with this hair type should avoid touching their hair and oil massages as it will make the situation worse. Also, don't wash your hair with hot water. It will stimulate even more oil production. If you chose mostly C answers, your hair is of dry type. Again, that's because your scalp is dry as well. In this case, it is advisable to have a hot oil massage from time to time and avoid everyday shampooing, as it will make your hair even drier. If you chose mostly D, you have a combination hair type. That means that your hair is oily and the scalp at the same time is dry at the ends. Avoid blow drying your hair in hot temperatures. It will dry your ends even further and make your roots produce more oil. Number 7. Curling Iron First of all, you should always depend on your hair type while choosing the heating temperature of a curling iron. Remember, up to 338 degrees Fahrenheit is a great temperature for thin hair. From 338 to 392 degrees Fahrenheit, it is preferable for normal hair. And from 392 to 446 Fahrenheit is better for thick hair. The next thing is the shape of it. 
cylinder curling iron gives you more of the curl than the conical one, which will leave you with more natural waves. Another important thing is the time of hair curling. If you do it for five seconds, your hair will barely even curl. At the same time, seven seconds are advisable for those who want quite a wavy hair, and 10 seconds is for natural looking beach waves. Remember three important things. Never curl wet hair. Don't forget to clean your curling iron after every single use, and don't use it every day. Number six, hair straightener. The best heat temperature is also connected to the hair type, up to 338 degrees Fahrenheit for thin hair and from 338 to 446 degrees Fahrenheit for thick hair. We shouldn't forget about the different types of hair straighteners as well. Ceramic ones easily slide through the hair and are quite suitable for frequent use. Thermaline ones are most suitable for thick curly hair and prevent static electricity. And titanium ones are for professional hair styling. The usage of hair straightener is also very easy. First of all, apply a heat protection spray to your hair and let it dry. Start straightening your hair from the sides and the back of your head. Move your hair straightener from the roots to the ends. When you're done with the sides and the back, straighten the sections of the central part of your head. After you've done everything, brush through your hair. Don't hold a hair straightener in one place for more than two to three seconds. Don't use it more often than once a week, and just as with curling iron, clean the tool regularly. Number five, hair oil. We'll start with avocado oil. It has numerous advantages, but most importantly, it softens, nourishes, and moisturizes your hair. Here's a quick tip on how to use it. Mix five tablespoons of avocado oil with three to five tablespoons of coconut oil. Then, heat up the mixture and apply to your hair. Leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes and wash it off. Your hair will thank you for it. Next up is argan oil. It moisturizes, nourishes, and has a regenerating effect on your hair. You can use it both in its pure form or with other oils instead of a hair conditioner. Coconut oil is also a good treatment for your hair. It helps your damaged hair regain its natural vitality. The best way to use it is for a hair massage. Or even more simple, add a few drops of the oil into your shampoo and there you go. Jojoba oil also nourishes, enriches, and protects your hair. It's perfect for a hair massage. Just apply a few drops to your fingers and spread the oil across your hair. Number four, hair mask. Hair masks are just as important for hair care as anything else. They help your hair get everything that they need and get healthier. And we have some recipes for different hair types just for you. Listen up. Let's start with the great nourishing mask for normal hair. You'll need two tablespoons of burdock oil, two tablespoons of olive oil, 10 drops of vitamin A, 10 drops of vitamin E. Firstly, heat up the mixture and carefully and thoroughly mix it. Secondly, apply it to all of your hair for one hour. This mask will make your hair shiny. We have something for weak hair as well. It's the strengthening mask. The ingredients are one teaspoon of castor oil, one tablespoon of honey, and one teaspoon of aloe juice. Mix all the ingredients and apply the mask to your hair half an hour before washing it. Then, thoroughly rinse your hair. This mask will make you heal your hair and provide it with all the vitamins it needs. Don't think that we forgot about an oily hair. There is an effective mask for this hair type as well. The list of its ingredients contain two tablespoons of dry mustard, four tablespoons of warm water, three tablespoons of clay, either black or green, one tablespoon of honey, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Simply mix all the ingredients and apply the mask to your hair for 30 to 40 minutes. This mask will make your hair look fresh and give it a beautiful volume and healthy glow. Number three, diet. The food you eat also has a tremendous effect on the condition of your hair. A balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals is essential for perfect hair. Here's a list of vitamins that are important not only for your hair, but your health and beauty as well. Let's start with vitamin C. It improves blood circulation in the scalp and stimulates hair growth. If you want to consume more vitamin C, eat citrus fruit, kiwi, sea buckthorn, currants, rose hips. Omega-3 is also great, as it slows down the aging process and keeps the immune system strong. 
You can find it in fish, seafood, flaxseed oil, avocado, walnuts. Vitamin A stimulates cells regeneration and slows down the aging process. Liver, cottage cheese, eggs, carrots, pumpkin are the products that are rich in vitamin A. Zinc and selenium protect your system against the harmful effects of the environment. Well, that's helpful, right? If you agree, eat eggs, beef, rye, bread, milk, seafood. Vitamin E nourishes hair roots and protects against harmful UV rays. Add nuts, seeds, eggs, green leafy vegetables, and vegetable oils to your menu for more vitamin E. And last, but certainly not the least, is vitamin B, which stimulates hair growth and gives the hair shine and elasticity. The best vitamin B sources are cereal, nuts, bran, and eggs. Number two, hair color. Those who have light colored hair, listen closely. First of all, not every hair oil will be good for you. Say yes to peach, olive, jojoba, avocado, and coconut oil, and no to castor oil, as it will most probably darken the beautiful color of your hair. Instead, rinse your hair with water and a little bit of lemon juice to maintain the color. The beauties with dark colored hair should use olive or apricot kernel oil for maintaining the hair color and essential oils of citrus fruit for making hair shine. And the red color type, by the way, we all envy you, is better use olive or apricot kernel oil for maintaining the hair color and burdock one to make the hair soft. There you go. Number one, seasons. The temperature difference may damage the hair. So here are some ways to prevent it and make the weather change more comfortable for your hair. In the cold seasons, it's important to protect our hair. First and foremost, put your hat on. During the cold times, it's also better to use a blow dryer at a low temperature. Nourish your hair during this period with masks, serums, oils, and vitamins. Warm seasons are not that much different. You'll still need to wear a hat and sun protection products to prevent all the possible damages that UV rays of the sun might cause to your hair. However, the situation with a blow dryer for this period is different. It's better to take a break from it during hot summer days. Do you have any tips of your own on how to make the hair perfect? Share your opinions in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends.